Greetings, family, friends, and survivors of this channel. Another beautiful liquid sunshine day here in Oregon. So I'm going to do something temporary because it's what I can do. Uh, on a homestead, first things come first. I've got to get the firewood in first. We typically get the firewood cut and split and drying by June 1st. The problem is I can't do it at all for the first time since 1971. And things may change. I, the injections, series of injections start on April 6th. And if they work for me as well as they did before, I might be able to do some light chainsaw work, but it'd be like a half hour every other day at most. That's not gonna get the wood done. So, I'm going to have to just go ahead and humble myself and let my sons handle it. They've been begging me to let them handle it, and I've been saying, no, 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 I got it. Well, guess what? I don't got it. Uh, humility is a good thing. You know how you get humility? You get humbled. It's great fun. The, the benefit of humility after the fact is worth more than gold. Humility is in treatability, folks. Humility is a wonderful thing. And uh, nobody can control you when you're truly humble. Anyway, that's free. Uh, the ladder right there, right above that ladder, up under the eave, there's a, a box with a 30 amp circuit in it. And this 30 amp circuit is wired in conduit all the way to the Midnight Classic 200. And that was already there. We, we installed that when we first put in the first system as a temporary circuit, just so we'd have one. So it would be very easy to go ahead and put 12 solar panels on that roof. They'd be temporary, but they'd be producing power. When the firewood's done and all the storm damage is done, and that's not the extent of the storm damage, there's more. And when that part is taken care of, which I'm guessing will probably be pretty close to fall before, because you have the garden, can't wait. The chickens are way overdue with butchering. I just can't take time right now to install the solar panels where they're ultimately going to be. I just don't get my way. In fact, it may not even happen this year. So that said, I can get all the solar panels out of my guest bedroom and uh, mount them on the roof right here. And this is a good sunspot most of the year. Uh, it's actually in the sunlight even at the winter solstice from about 10.30 on. From 10.30 to 3.30, if weather permitting, it's actually in the sunlight. Now it's five degrees off from true south, that's not good. It needs to be 43 degrees, 43 and a half degree incline, and it's not, it's more like 25. So those things are make it uh, not as efficient, obviously, but light will be on the panels and they will be producing power. So I might as well get them stored right there doing something rather than cluttering up my guest bedroom. And it would be easy to do because it's already, all the wiring is already done. I just need to mount a um, combiner box on the roof and there'll be uh, six panels per string in series of course so we simplified that that's what this spare conduit was, said future on it. Well, it goes up to this 5S box. And comes over and down and right in here. Goes through um, the 30 amp breaker. Although there'll only be about 25 amps on it. And then it goes to the classic. So it's it's getting cleaner in here, less confusing in here. What I'm really considering doing, uh, we did get a an off-grid backup system for my dad 
I gave him my old inverter and he bought some batteries and uh, that system's almost finished now and uh, I have a spare TriStar but it it was a pull out from a troubled system and I diagnosed the hydro system and I don't think it was the TriStar but they had replaced it before I got there and gave it to me and so I'll have to test it but I know this one's good and I was thinking about giving this one to dad and buying another Outback just the Flexmax 60 and having it run the 1400 watt array that's right over this roof and I would have to rewire those uh, into series. And we'll see how that works. I may have to go with the Midnight Classic. I'll have to look at the VMP voltage. And uh, you, you can do uh, 7 or 14 is divisible by 2. So I could have two strings of seven, but there's no other way to break that up. I can't have any other combination. It's either two strings of seven, take two panels away, add two panels, there's nothing else I can do. Or just go to a Midnight Classic 200 and then it would handle the voltage uh, because the volts are gonna be up there pretty good if I have seven in series. So, still thinking about that, that's another 600 plus dollars for one of these that's a lot of money right now don't have to do anything right now i have several spare charge controllers for the other system uh, and uh, grid tie inverter so most of the time it'll be running grid tie anyway it would just be in a you know a storm where the power goes out and it's out for more than a day because you can charge the batteries with the generator up there. Uh, if it's more than a day, you'd switch the solar on. So that's what's going on around here. A lot of rain. <clears throat> and it could be one of those years where it's just going to do this on and off. Showery, see the sun for a minute and go away. and Come back and tease you a little bit and then start raining again and... I've seen it do that all the way to July, quite often all the way till June, always through the middle of May. And that's why Oregon's green, and that's okay. So summer's always a rush, and you're working harder than you should, trying to get everything done before the, the winter hits. And then by the time your first rain comes and the late summer early fall it settles the dust and you got a hankering to sit by the wood stove with a cup of tea and then about this time of year you start to get a little bit of cabin fever and the sun will come out and tease you for three or four days and you're tempted to go out and get the garden started and start seeds and about the time you do It'll sock in wet and cold and snow again the second week of April. Happens a lot. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Hope everybody's doing well. Have a blessed day.